Here we have the Pythagorean theorem. It is stated as a squared plus b squared equals c squared, while a, b, and c are sides of a right triangle. c is labeled the hypotenuse. We can plug in different values like a and b to find c if c is unknown. We can also plug in values like b and c to find a and c and a to find b. This is a common equation used in mathematics that we all know. But where does it come from? Well, if we draw a square, the definition of a square states that all sides are the same length, as well as all corners are right angles. Now, let's make a right triangle. And make another right triangle. And make another right triangle and another right triangle. These right triangles are all the same length with side A, B, A, B, A, B, A, and B, while the inside lines that make the smaller triangle are C. To find the total area of this square, we would take the length of A plus B and square it. Okay. We can also find the area of this uh, square as c squared plus 2ab. Now where do we get the 2ab from? Well we get the 2ab from the formula 1 half base times height, which is the formula for the area of a triangle. Since we have four triangles here where the base is b and the height is a for each one of these triangles, we can multiply this formula by 4, which gives us 2ab. So let's simplify this equation. We are given now a squared plus 2ab plus b squared on the left side of the equation, while the right side remains the same as c squared plus 2ab. We notice that 2ab is on both sides of the equation, so we can cross those off. They cancel each other. And we are now left with a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which is stated as before as the Pythagorean theorem. I hope this lesson helped you today and you understand better where the Pythagorean theorem came from.